All right, this thing working? I think so. It was lagging for a sec, but I think it's working now. <laughs> we got not a complaint. The dig sites. We finished this place. Um, we went through all of Nautica Plains last time on the trek back to Bacula, and that's just about where we're at it now. Since we are at the exit right here. Bacula and Desert West. And we can see that the blockade here is gone now. There used to be a blockade here. You could not go through here without getting stuck. You couldn't. You, you just couldn't pass. It was not open. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're back here with all of the same enemies as ever. Um, these have not changed in the slightest. Oh god, my computer's lagging. Ah. <laughs> these are still the same level and stuff, so will be far more than equipped to deal with them now. <laughs> Boom. Find Yuki. Let's just get uh, Yuki to use Flash and see if he'll uh, walk out of the way of Donna. That would be pretty handy. And with Flash, he should be able to dodge it using himself. Yes. Meanwhile, you're just doing burn. Dodge. Oh. Huh. 10 damage. Oh god. He is in range. You know how Yuki is having exactly what I figured would happen? That don't do much damage. Yeah. Dancing cards. Oh, Ooh, I see. nice. The of light. PSPR. Here we Protect are. Me. Where's she gonna appear? Yeah. All right, not bad. Yeah. Oh God. The game does not understand that we have flashy quick and therefore move very quickly. Awesome. <laughs> what a cloud. Sorry. Of course we won. Ta da! Awesome. Okay, yeah, so not too much of a heck of a lot new here. I'm gonna go this way and see if we can encounter the Desert Lord and fight that, because last time we encountered it, we were not even close to being strong enough to beat it. But now, we should be in a much better position. Let's see. Hi. You surprise him! And it's still fast. Quake. Damn. Oh well. Oh! Yo! Okay. Thanks, Donna. That was not very likely. Keep an eye on my shadow. Um, what can you even do? You can use Holy Circle, but it's not like the enemy's gonna be walking into you, so. That thing attacks from pretty far away. Not much damage on us, so that's a goodie. This should protect you. I have no idea how strong this guy is. All things considered. That looks bad. And probably like it's going to cancel. Yeah. Oh, 
Leave this to me. Ulf! Quickly! Quickly, Ulf. No. <laughs> the warrior card. Is she in range Give anyway? <laughs> nice. Despite having a move that makes enemies take more IV damage, we still do not knock it back at all. It is just completely invulnerable. Hmm. Wondering if maybe we're not even ready for this fight quite yet. We'll see. I think I'm gonna cast Runner with Yuki and make sure that Alfina is keeping up with healing. Oh, don't do that. Thank you. Quick sound. Is that gonna hit her? No. Damn. Alfina, though. Oof. Well, dancing cards. Oh, cards of light. Hear my call. Prince, you're going. Protect me. Oh, don't walk into it, Donna. Leave this to me. Oh. Ooh. I'll bring this over back in a sec. Okay, back. Speaking of a runner, let's get that on now. I also kind of want to get the aura on this. Oh, whatever. Move like the wind. We might actually get it thrown into the air, which would be pretty impressive. And good for the damages. Nope. Still, lots of damage from the dancing cards. That's cool. You're targeting just your guess. But it's probably gonna hit Donna too. Oh, actually, nope. Good stuff. Dang, you using the Halberd? Don't do that. Um, Bizarre. Damn. Leave this to me. Oh well. I was hoping that Halberd would go out first and she'd heal him. Yeah, yeah, no problem. He's gonna knock back a far distance though. Oh well. Dancing cards is a good way to deal damage. There is no two things about it or whatever. Invincible aura? Come on, get that PSP RP. Runner on Donna would be good since she spends a while waiting. What are you doing? Normal attack? This should help. Is this a counter? It might be a counter. Not Nice. How much damage is that? 
Oh, her running wore off. That's too bad. Don't do it. Don't do your normal attack. <laughs> I'll burn her, that's safe. They're all folding in there. Um, okay. Oh, what are you doing? Get in there. The warrior card. Give us a no. Not quite. Oh well. That's right. Time for bed. <laughs> sort of worked. Oof. Alnado, quick. Shoutouts to uh, Invincible Aura. <laughs> I don't think it keeps you from getting knocked back, though. Nope. Leave this to me. Oh, meanwhile, totally confused. <laughs> you do something smart, Elf. Move like the wind. Ow, don't do that. Nice. <laughs> Jeez. Nice dodge. Bitch, you can't tell which one is me. <laughs> Keep an eye on my shadow. Oh, the light. Hear my call. Protect me. Eight. I refuse to believe I can't cancel that. But also, I'm not going anywhere. Nice. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Counter. Oh yeah. Couple good hits. The warrior card. Give us strength. Yeah. Oh god. Quake is a pretty strong use. <laughs> Didn't one of us equip something that cancels all... Uh... Half elemental damage? I think that might be off the ebony armor or whatever. I'll could all stand to go a bit faster. Move like the wind. Nice. <laughs> Not a hell of a lot of damage, but still. Don't do uh oh. Who are you targeting? Just those two? Okay, we can deal with that. Boss. This Yuki in range? No. Nice. No statuses. Leave this to me. I don't want to die because if I die, I'm going to lose that. Uh, this should protect you. Recharge boost on Donna's dancing card, and I don't know exactly if I would get that back quite so quickly. Oh, cards of light, hear my call. Protect me. I can't tell if that was still eight or seven or nine. Don't do it. 
Don't do it. Not bad. Damn. <laughs> That's a counter attack. Leave this to me. Come on. You dead yet? Surely you are almost dead. Why don't you just shut up? <laughs> Good luck. Oh, cards of light, hear my call. Protect me. I cannot count. <laughs> um. Nice touch. Okay, gold. Oh, well. Ow! Oh god. <laughs> hey guys! You doing okay? Leave this to me! Ow, that's a number. <laughs> hey. hey Donna, critical attack the enemy. Oh no. Riptana. You wanna get her revived? Why don't you have to survive that? Uh who are you targeting? Oh that's um Leave this to me. What if they got an aerial combo on him? Oh god. <laughs> Come on. It just does not take any whatsoever. I believe in you, Alfina. Leave this and to Yuki, me. meanwhile, is doing something very intelligent. It's like I said, that Berserker from the scalp book is gonna be good. Is Alfina in range? Oh, nice. Hello, breaking in. Sup? You like Dusty? I would love a Dusty except I am on microphone, so let me just disable that super quick. Tostito's chip's good, IMO. You have 373 health left. Come on. You got this. Just a bit longer, everyone. You can be as hopeless as a healer. I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Kill it! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> by the looks of it. See? I can do it if I try. Yes. <laughs> nice. That thing respawns too. Ooh, special level up. Yuki is about to have 140 SP? Okay, not bad. Okay, let's head back then. There's nothing else here. Oh god, what if the enemy catches us? No. I love this music. There's like three variants on this song in all, I think. They're all good. <laughs> Goodbye. Debacula! 
Bacula Settlement. Finally. Back to where it all began so many moons ago. Well over a year, apparently. I left Rurelia in charge of the village, but... I wonder if everything's okay. I'm sure she did fine. I think. Hey, Hope. Don't you think? If it's bugging you so much, why don't we go ask her? Let's ask about the Guardian, too. Hell yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This isn't a problem. Welcome back! Did you find out anything in the Forbidden Land? Yes, we found out what we've done, what we have to do, and who we have to fight. How should I help? Go ahead and dish out the orders! I'm ready to serve! Just leave it to us right now. We have to search for the right path. Well, if you're looking for something, I won't be much use to you. But I'm second to none with my sword skills! I know. Maybe you should ask Rilia for advice. She really has a good head on her shoulders, you know? If you're looking for something, you should really ask Rilia. She's probably in the chief's tent. Thanks. Hi, kid. Hi, Donna. I'm glad you're back. It's nice to see you again. But what is this sign doing here? It's a sign for the new supermarket put up here. Really, I got a whole bunch of people together and they built it. Supermarket? What did that girl do when I was gone? The woman on this sign doesn't look like Aurelia. I think the lady painted on the sign is the one who helped Aurelia build the supermarket. The lady on this sign was in our village until just a little while ago. I wish I could have seen her. I feel like I've seen this sign somewhere before. It's really not a problem. <laughs> a statue of Yote. Another statue of Yote. <laughs> what happens if we go to the play now? Hi, number 21! It's me, Yuki! I'd love to take you up into the big blue sky right now, but... Just wait a bit longer, okay? Yes. First, we must ask Aurelia about where she saw Seba. Yeah. Then we're free. Till then, though. Let's check this place out. A supermarket, huh? I'm scared. I'm going to just chill at the inn first. Let's go to the inn. <laughs> Can we eat supper before uh, visiting Rulia? Welcome back. I'm so glad you're safe. But Chief Donna, you should go see Rulia. She's been doing a lot of strange things lately. Okay. <laughs> Very well. While I'm preparing supper, I suggest you go and see Rulia. She's been doing a lot of strange things lately. Huh. Cute. Talking about all the odd decorative work? We're planning to go see her. I'll make sure to ask about that. <laughs> okay, we'll come back. That makes sense. I love this song. Also, this is where we say the first time, so now we're really back. like a fireplace, I guess, with a spot to cook things on. Huh? That is pretty darn neat. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Tent one. Hello. Who are you two? Three. Never mind, sorry. Four? Oh my god. Everyone's just five. Five? Jeez. 
Wow, okay. <laughs> what are these fruits? They look amazing. Hmm, fruit. Hello. Blasted supermarket! Kids only bring people who are ignorant of our code here. What was really a thinking? What's in this code of yours anyway? In the valley we had all kinds of strict rules to follow. Firstly, you must pray to Yot six times a day. I don't think I'd be able to keep that up. On your birthday, you must sit and meditate in front of Yot's statue for the entire day. In the sweltering desert? I'd die a few hours anyway. Don't tell me you do it, Gramps. Of course I do. <laughs> I should have never expected our foreigners, you foreigners, to understand our ancient code. No one working in that supermarket has any respect for our code either. It's no use even talking to them. <laughs> Sorry. Donna and the Communicator? So glad you made it back. Well, did you find out anything important? Yes, a guardian other than Griff or Yot lives in our world. His name is Seba. Now we must go out to hear the holy words of Seba. Wow, Seba is it? We've never heard that name before, so we must live quite far from here. It seems that way. We were just on our way to ask Rurelia about it. Oh, Chief Rurelia. Donna, are you sure it was wise to let Rurelia act as our chief, village chief? I think so. I know she's not perfect, but still. Haven't you seen how our village has changed, Donna? Maybe you better think about choosing someone else. If you're looking for Rulia, she's in the chief's tent. Things have just been awful since she became chief. Well, you're outspoken. <laughs> this tent is so crowded and everyone is so lively. Living together like this every day has made me start looking at these children as my own family. Hmm? <laughs> So these people aren't your family members? I had no idea. One thing led to another, and we all had to move into this tent together. We have really had to thank for it. That girl, please accept my apologies. There's no reason to apologize. I feel like I've been blessed with a tent full of children and grandchildren. Every day is fun. My husband is complaining constantly, but I know deep down he's happy to have so much company. I see. Perhaps Rulia has more in mind than just trying out new things. This is so wonderful. I never thought I'd be blessed with so many children and grandchildren at my age. Yeah, sure. Hey, what are you doing? I just, I saw you just hide something there. Hi, Jules. Welcome to my room. What's up? You vibe in here? Cool. It's nothing. Come on, let me see it. I won't tell anyone. Huh? Why are you crying? Cause... Cause... Never mind. It's nothing. I said it's nothing. Oh, dear. Okay, jeez, you just don't... <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, you're... <laughs> oh, you're back, Donna. Bakula took its first step into modern civilization. <laughs> what a joy. What are you doing in here? And why is your tent a star now? Were you thrown out? It's for the good of Bakula. For the good of Bakula, since Rurelia became our chief, we've had to follow her rules. What's the matter? Oh dear. Well, this is no good. I'm sorry. I don't remember 
if there would be anything about this character that we'd have known from coming here before, or if it's just a complete mystery. Oh dear. <laughs> That tent's closed, right? Yes. Magic shop! So you'd like to know about mana egg fusion? Well, as I'm a talented sorceress, I'm more than qualified to tell you. Does fusion make better eggs? You may think an egg created by fusion is naturally more powerful than the two eggs used to make it. Not necessarily. A lot of changes take place. Sometimes a weaker egg is produced, or an odd egg. You'll just have to fuse together a lot of eggs to get a handle on the laws involved in the process. Okay. This magic shop has kept the art of fusion alive by word of mouth. It's the perfect shortcut to powerful magic. I think this is the only mana fusion shop in the entire game. Yeah. It's good. Hello there, Bacula's going through troubled times. Evidently. If our village changes, I'll still carry on Baculani traditions. Good for you. Wow. Oh boy. Leg egg. Mwahaha. <laughs> Wow, all these make the this apparently. Most people. Yeah, they all do. Look at all the things above. Now, see, this is odd because if we combine it with these basic ones, uh, you can get level eight eggs. That's pretty cool. Either of these would boost it to. A uh, blizzard egg with Arabos, which is a pretty neat move spell. It's insta death, which IMO is a fine move. And all healer is always good to have, just one of those. Meanwhile, we can get crystal wall here. And a holy egg, three water, three earth is a good egg anyway. Get some pretty good eggs. A dust egg. <laughs> pretty interesting that a three water plus a fire wind is just gonna bring the fire winds both up to max. But it could be interesting to have something like that for, um, uh, for, whatchamacallar, Donna. I see, that's a chaos egg. Burn! What do you want? All these are, okay. These first four are the any two elemental combos. There, bomb, leaf, frost, and thunder. Very cool. Blaze, quake, rain, and cyclone. What are these two? These two are unknown, which is interesting to me because I wonder what they are. These ones are two, 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 two. Again, they're any combo of two fulls. And then presumably the matches of four for each of these. So that makes sense. These eight correspond to these eight. But then these two are unknown. And these are the basic elementals. What are these ones? Okay, this one's odd. These are apparently I'm not sure what's on this row, but at least these first two are both. Boosting all of them by two. Uh, 
Um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Try bomb egg. Plus a bomb egg makes a calamity egg. Um, okay. Which is a magic level 8, and would probably go down. Eh, could it be any one of these, eh? Anyway, but that's not what we're looking for. Why does it think we've never gotten a dust egg? Oh, wait, yes it does. It's this one we don't have. So what makes the dust egg? Yeah, that makes sense. There's no overlap, so we get a dust egg. But here there is overlap. I want to figure out and think about this for a while and see if there's any patterns that are pretty... that will... be noticeable. And to be clear, if it's a... if we do this the other way around... Do we get the same thing? It's a forest egg. Okay. So in this case, either way, boosting that earth by one is gonna get us a forest egg. So what if we use a plain earth egg? The stone egg, that is. Didn't we get a tree egg? Okay, I see. And gravity egg, which interestingly does not get you gravity. Much like the quake egg presumably doesn't get you quake. Tremor. What's the Quake Egg plus this? A gravity Egg. Which gets you Tremor and Quake. Meanwhile, what would this be plus that? Okay, that's a Tremor. That makes sense. Yeah, and these make the basic elements. Same as combining any two of these that don't match gets you a Dust Egg. But I want to know how you get that, uh... Whatever this one is. I think this might be the... Actually, the 3333 element. I'm not sure. And the heel egg doesn't combine with anything to make anything. Most intriguing. I kind of want to make this photon egg for the heck of it. Because it sounds cool, and will give us an interesting high-level egg to work with. Plus it's a 2-3, so if nothing else, we can equip it for interesting things. Um, I'm gonna combine that with the lightning egg, I think. Amazing. Hold on, do these have... descriptions? Oh, they do. That's pretty cool. Filled with the power of fire. Filled with the power of earth. Filled with the power of water. Filled with the power of wind. Bomb egg. Filled with explosive power. Leaf. Filled with the power of plants. Frost. Filled with the power of frost. Thunder. Filled with the power of thunder. Amazing. Blaze. Filled with the power of a blaze. Cyclone. Filled with cycle power. Blast, filled with fiery wind power. Icicle, filled with them imbued with... Oh, these are imbued. Let's not get that wrong. These are imbued. These are filled. Bursting with water power. Invokes light power. That's cool. Uh, what's the light power one again? Um... This is actually an 8, well this is 7, that's pretty neat. Invokes light power for Burn Blaze and Gad Zap. Those are both cool spells that we're definitely not using. And this sits over here. Okay, so we've got Booster and Heal, which extract for a variety of different things. Uh, that's cool. So Dust Egg is your, uh... Suppressive moves, booster eggs, your supplementary moves, and heal egg is for cure, health, and resurrect status, recovering ones. Photon egg, can this combine with anything? It can. 
So, two photon eggs together gets you a booster egg. I'm betting that any of these combined together would get you a booster egg, or potentially a heal egg. And with this, it only gets you a heal egg. Intriguing. Um, Healer plus snooze is not something we need. Life egg is all around boosted by one. Do we have a life egg at all? A holy egg. Uh, I might do lake and bomb just to get that holy egg because it's cheap. What about these? Dust egg. Uh, forest egg. Uh, that's three two. That'll sit down here, right? Yeah. And holy egg and forest egg. Okay, Holy Egg is a 3-3. Three, three. Does that mean it goes down here? Yes. Okay. Um, that's cool. So any of these four boost to one of the level islands. This as well. Really any of these except for that Blaze Egg, which Water and fire don't go together. Gets you a dust egg. Even with this, it's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's combine it with... I want that life egg. Um, we have a good amount of basic eggs. We don't have any flare or stone eggs, which kind of sucks. Um, so what I'm gonna do is use an earth-based one. Or rather, a... Yeah, let's use the water wind one, since we can probably get more of these few, through fusion. Whereas fire earth are kind of more of a scarcity. Okay, holds the power of life. Where's that? Okay, oh yeah, cool. That's it there. Alright, so that gets you a life egg. Is there another corresponding one for all four of the same? All four boosted by one? Um, that's different. And this doesn't combine at all. So we may have to extract from it. Which is too bad because it's not exactly an awesome egg. Yeah, these don't combine. Uh, let's combine the lake egg. Do we have anything better now? No, let's combine the lake egg with something to get a water three. Because. Yeah, let's use it to get that. Uh, Fenrir egg? These are level 9, damn. This one's up late. And we have loads of these, so let's use this. Cool. Okay. So now we have a blizzard egg. How's this look when you combine it? I'm betting. Yep, more booster eggs. Makes sense. What about the other stuff, though? Um... Let's know. It would be interesting... Okay, this is water wind. This is wind fire. Will there be fire earth and earth water eggs as well? Whoa, these are high level eggs. Dang. Okay, damn. That's cool. Photon dust. Photon. Blizzard. 
We have a blizzard egg, right? And calamity egg. Let's get one of those. Okay. Looking good. We got a calamity egg. Um, makes sense. And then there's an earth water egg somewhere. Um, you have a crappy egg equipped. Like, come on. That's just a bad egg, bro. That's a forest egg. Okay, makes sense. Any other way to get a forest egg? We combine both of those and get a forest egg. We can combine with the blaze egg and get a forest egg. Okay. So now we've got this pro full default. That's cool. And as suspected, it's always one element and the next element. Fire earth, earth water, water wind, wind fire. Which is pretty cool. What are the descriptions for these? Calamity Egg invokes a terrible disaster. Fire Earth. Invokes forest power. Invokes blizzard power. Invokes light power. Holds the source of all life. Jeez. Okay then. Cool. Amazing. These are not able to be fused correct, and neither is that. Still makes me wonder what this is. Good to have these on hand. Blizzard Egg! As of course doesn't heal much of that. Um, this would get a Heal Egg. And otherwise this is all Booster Eggs. So is a Heal Egg considered rare? I guess so. Sort of. We've got ways to get booster eggs in. Kind of expensive. But, good stuff. Um... We can get a chaos egg. I think we already have one. Yeah, I want to get some other high tier... 90s. Yeah, here we are. Cluster egg, for example. I still want to chart out the actual rules for these things, but one day. Hold on, I want to see what the name of that is. The description is. Cluster Egg releases star power. Fire Earth. Very good for someone who has a uh, magic level 9. Which is none of us. Combining this would get you the Ether Egg. As with this. Which is the fire, earth, water, wind egg, and I take it that that is the egg which sits here. Um, I get some very overpowered spells, but we are not in need of that whatsoever right now. Meanwhile, these things all get us this. Oh, and there's the burst egg. I see that's what gets you that. All right. Pretty crappy if you ask me, but good stuff. Alright. In that regard, again, the burst egg is considered rarer than the, than the life egg. Cool stuff. Um, let's quickly check equipment. You have Water Earth. Um, your priority is going to be... So this is intriguing. So this sort of makes four classes for your characters. It's... What's relevant here... Keep a nose on the magic boost table here. Um, we can have one element and the next priority. 
prioritize, but we can never have an element and the previous. Uh, so it's like one element is prioritized and the next is also well boosted. Um, but we can't have someone who specializes in Earth, but also uses fire, for example. Um, so, for Alfina here, what we want is for her to be a strong healer, right? Um, but this invariably means she's going to specialize in water and have a boost in, uh, wind. Um, while well, offering nothing for Earth. Um, alternatively, we can have like this, but the only move there is Resurrect. Um, so basically this means that she's going to be like this, and we may want to consider making her specialize, uh, have some, use the remaining slot she has now, since she has like three slots remaining on some wind spells. We obviously want to keep everyone with Resurrect, um, so it's okay in that regard. Um, Alf ideally would be uh, uh, Earth Water or something like that, or even Fire Earth, but he doesn't have uh, anything like that. Okay, so this is Magic Level Eight. What would be a what would a three Earth Egg level be? Keeping in mind that his max is seven. Where's the three Earth? We don't actually have the triple Earth Egg yet. Uh, but it would be magic level 6, so we can get it. Uh, we can use the Quake Egg to make it. And that would get us the Gravity Egg. Um, with the Stone Egg. Which makes sense. Um, no other way to get it, I take it. Yeah, that makes sense. 2 Earth plus 1 Earth gets you that. Nice. This means we've got all our Earth Eggs gone, completely used on... Elf. Which is cool. Equip Ulf. Let's uh, equip Ulf with the Tri Earth Egg, imbued with gravity power. Nice. Okay, what about you, Yuki? You are a funny, funny situation. I think I'm probably gonna keep him on heal egg since nothing else is uh, a good level seven egg. A booster egg would be fine, but that's the same thing. And what about you? So you can go like this, and that gets you that boosted, which, honestly, for the moment, not bad. Um, also means we might want to consider giving you dig in and other earth moves. Um, otherwise, all good. Cool. So all that is fine in terms of what eggs we have right now for our players. It would be cool to get a booster egg, uh, or rather a burst egg, just so that that's marked off. Um, so, is that- how did we make the burst egg again? I don't remember. Oh, is that with these guys? Volcano egg, and how do we get the burst egg? Okay, looks like, uh... If we want the burst egg, we're going to be merging it with uh, that. Cool stuff. Honestly, I'd rather prioritize getting some other uh, magic level 7 eggs. Wait a sec. You're a booster egg? No, you're a cluster egg. Give me a break. This is mine. I was looking at the wrong numbers. That said, how can we get more level 9s? I don't remember. Volcano Egg is our only spare right now, because obviously we want to keep the Gravity Egg for Ulf. Okay, makes sense. Uh, Cluster Egg is an option. Cluster is Fire Earth. Don't we have a Cluster Egg? Uh, yes. Uh, whereas Chaos Egg is... Um... Fire air. Let's go for that. Cool. 
Too bad the models don't change for the type of egg they are. That would be pretty cool, since the texture for the icon does. Um, yeah, we got the chaos egg, and now we can get the ether egg if we want it. Um, but we don't, because it's going to be a long while before we can equip that, and there's nothing to extract from it. Um, damn, that doesn't merge with anything. We can easily get more of those top tier eggs. A tempest egg? Oh yes, that makes sense. Do we have a tempest egg yet? Nope, we've never gotten a tempest egg. I might get a tempest egg for the heck of having a top tier wind one. And anyway, we have loads of wind eggs, so not a problem. So there's a Tempest Egg, that's filled out. Filled out. Um, what's a Tempest Egg make? Loads of things that are not relevant right now. Fenrir Egg is an option. That's Water Wind. A top tier Water Wind. Uh, may want to consider spells, honestly, since, uh. Remind me what gets this. Or rather, what spells come from that? Not that you strictly can get make that, but uh... Where's the burst egg? I don't remember how to make it. Burst egg! Boomer, diamond dust, and uh... Zap all. Yeah, that's just whatever. I like these four eggs because they are... Relatively approachable, they're magic level 8, and we're all just about magic level 8, if not quite. Um... And there are fun ways to prioritize spells, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, and this can't be combined anyway, so we're good there. Yeah, let's, uh, call our magic eggs good for now. Okay. Oh god. I'm gonna quickly save just in case my game does a stupid or whatever. Save! Good stuff. How long have I been playing? Uh, recording's going about an hour now. I didn't really want to go for much more than two hours today, so... Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's go check out the skill place. Oh boy. General store- wait. General store? I mean, okay. So glad you're back, Donna. I sold our village treasures, but I didn't do it to keep up with these changing times. Yay, we have new things now. Thunder Staff! Use weapon, cause wind damage. It's a wind-based weapon. That's pretty cool. Mithril Sword! That's a good sword. Uh, worth getting just because we don't have anything like it. What the fuck? Attack plus 68? Oh, I see. I'll still using his crap weapon. Thank you. Let's get your uh, things clear. Meanwhile, sun cards. 40, 48. Okay. That's not bad, but she doesn't really use magic right now, so for now, sleep cards are better still. Okay, let's check out these rings. Power ring. Attack plus 10, defense plus 10, magic plus 10. Resilience plus 10, as well as a poison paralysis string, which is not bad. And thanks specifically for confusion and sickness. Um, oh yeah, let's uh, sell those uh, fucking sapphire rings. Yeah, the pearl ring is just 500. <laughs> sell these. Get ourselves some money. Good stuff. Uh, I feel like we got a bomb. Yeah, just the one dynamite. Bark, bark. Okay, good stuff. Cool. Uh, let's get the Mythal Sword. And probably the Thunder Staff, too. What is Alfina currently using? Wizard Staff. Alfina's using Magic Heart. It's just a plain as wand. Staff, I guess. Okay, let's get you your new staff. That pretty much ties her with the battle rod too, so. And 
terms of attack, so that's pretty good. Yuki! Let's stick with the Mithril Sword for now. Room Blade is good, but your magic sucks, so... You're probably better off just... You can keep your magic things, I guess. We'll see what we want to do with him later. We're not at the skill setup section yet. Uh, our attacks all around are looking pretty good. Um, we can get this for Elf if we want. It's just plus 10, though. I'll probably save it for now. It's not that big of a change. Mithril Mail, a set of armor made of from a silvery white metal. Good for Yuki, but it means his resilience goes down, and who has that? And Ulf has the ebony armor, so not really want to replace that because the resistance is the full elemental resistance halfway, whatever, is not worth five defense. Silver thread robe, a robe woven from magical silver thread. Really high defense and good resilience as well. Good things all around. Howdy! I know you're breaking it. So I can take my dog out again. Yeah. Back momentarily.
Okay, back. Phew. Um, yeah, I wanted to check something real quick. Um, did we ever fire Earth? Okay, so here's the thing. Fire as a primary uh, element is sort of weird because the only fire move is wow. Like, there is no other uh, non-offensive fire move. So as far as our repertoire goes, there's... Like, if you want, if you're prioritizing fire, it means you're prioritizing wow. And I have to do the mathematics on this and if I can test it with debug mode, but I don't know if a well-boosted fire move will... If well-boosted fire will actually imply more damage. Which is probably worth checking. Um, but... Uh, anyway, the boost would only be... The, it's, the question is whether you're going to be prioritizing fire or some other element. Um, I.e. Are you prioritizing fire, or if you want to boost fire at all, you're going to be prioritizing wind, because you'd be using the, uh, photon egg. Because, um, the photon egg... You've got to choose between either the calamity egg for prioritized fire with secondary earth, or the photon egg for prioritized wind with secondary fire. Um... Fire Earth is good because it lets her uh, have strong WoW, as well as moderate Earth moves. Um, strong Wind is good because it lets her have strong Wind moves and moderate WoW. Wind moves include things like Runner, uh, Craze, Fiora, and Erebos. And perhaps some other moves, but I think that's it. Three out of four of those are for... Uh, three out of four of those are for suppressing the enemy, or killing it, with, in the case of Erebos. Um, in a single hit. Um, whereas... For Earth moves, you have... Um, Resurrect, obviously. Cure Halva for curing debuffs. And Dig In for, you know, boosting defense. For all party members. Um, as present, yeah, so. And as usual, there's only the one fire move for a while. So there's variety here. Um. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to stick with a wind fire or fire um, earth, and I think I'm gonna go with fire earth just to leave things. I will see. The question is what we want to do with Yuki, really, because if we go fire, if we go wind fire, then it means we can um, put. Uh, spells like Runner back onto Donna, which is probably good because A, Yuki has pretty minimal magic points, and B, his magic, regardless of what his magic stat wants to tell you, sucks. Su you said that you weren't gonna spend three hours on it! Yeah, the recording time on this is an hour and twelve minutes. I'm still recording, I have a plan for about two hours. Are you joining my Grandia podcast? Okay, we are vibing and trying to figure out what kind of magics and basically character build we want to do. Um, so right now I'm looking at Yuki uh, in terms of... Right now basically we're gauging how we want to do everyone's magic setup. Um, because Yuki can currently use the heal egg, which is a neat egg, because it's fire, earth, water, wind, so it lets you have very good variety. Um, but the only way to make him have any kind of good magic 
is to have the Rune Blade equipped, which puts his magic points at uh, his magic attribute there at 148, uh, as well as in combination with the magic pendant. Um, which is pretty good. 148, 131, 64, 97. It puts him at the best. And yet, I don't know. I okay. I need to check this and confirm. That's true. I actually forgot about the fact that I was gauging his magic ability with a uh, with use having him use. Um, having him use all heal and contrasting that with Alfina's all heal, but I have to remember that Alfina uses the uh, lizard egg. So what I'm gonna try doing is, oh, you know, we should do some actual testing here. Why not? For the heck of it, let's give Alfina the forest egg, um, which puts her water boosted at two. Yeah, no worries. Um. So Alfina's water is 2, and Yuki's water is 2. Um, their magic ability is more or less matched. We can't quite make Alfina match him. What we can do is remove the magic pendant and put that on Alfina. Um, or even buy the... Uh, we can even buy the... Uh, uh, magic ring from this guy. And give that to Alfina. And, uh, that makes their... Now their magics are 142, 143. So they have matching magic right now. Um, although it is kind of worth keeping a note on the fact that Yuki's attack is now 82, while Alfina's attack is 131. Um, and she's not even using an outrageously... She's using, like... She's using you know, something which also boosts magic. Um, I... She's a bit more balanced. Anyway, let's go have a look and fight some enemies. We're not actually going to be fighting the enemies. All we want to do is contrast and keep an eye on the amount of health that both characters heal. Okay, sounds good. Wow, fancy. But adventure, see you. Oh. Okay. What are y'all doing? Burn, 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 burn. Dear, dear God. All right, here's some protection. Okay. You do all heal. Yuki's all heal. Let's keep an eye out. Heals about 320. Alfina's all heal. Let's keep a nose out for skills too, just in case. Leave this to me. Alfina's all heal. Heals 380. Okay, that's cool. Let's check for skills. Just in case those are causing difference. Equip skills. Water mastery reduces MP, causes water spells, presumably shouldn't do anything. Guru's way is plus magic and res. And, uh, Alvina does not have a fully powered Guru's way. Um,. I believe Guru's Way will not, um, will have an impact outside of battle. Like, for the, for a moment, I thought that it, for a while, I thought that it, you could only see the change within battle, but, anyway, let's get rid of that, um, and see how their magic stacks up then. Hello? You don't have a setup section, do you? We're getting to the skill shop stuff. We'll be there soon. Hi. 
Hello, young communicator. Glad to see you're safe. How brave of you to go on such a perilous trip as a young lady. Those lunkheads at the supermarket are a cowardly bunch compared to you. They've got no determination. Yeah. Okay, uh, set up skills. Let's, uh... Water wouldn't match Okay, let's just get rid of all this stuff. We'll fuck around with these things, um, later. For now, what I want to do is contrast difference. Oh yeah, let's check stats now. Okay, magic 128, 131. Alright, the other option is that the magic level 7, magic level 8 is making a difference. Which, technically, could be the case. Your magic is 114. Let's see if you can get magic that closely matches that. Well, there's 121. Actually, wait. Your magic level is 8. And yours is 8, so we're going to be contrasting Alfina and Donna. Which means they should have exactly the same amount of magic, ideally. Now they both have 121 magic. Uh, does... I don't think Donna has Guru's Way equipped. She just has a bunch of body things. Now yeah, let's clear you as well, just for the heck of it. Okay. Now we've got characters as basic as they come, so far as I can tell. 121, 121... Let's put all heal onto Donna, and give her a boost of 2. How can you boost your thing by 2? Do you not have anything to boost by 2? Okay, whatever. Let's, uh, completely reset everyone. Meaning you are now both completely not going to Wow, these are amazing. Can I steal a couple? Why am I getting the Oh, it's cute. Can I have another? If that's cool? Oh, okay. Well, the point is that I've just had zero, so there looks to be more than four there. Considerably. Okay. One sec. I'm trying these. Rowan made some... Cinnamon, brown sugar, cinnamon things. And stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. So everyone balanced. Let's go try that again with Alfina and Donna. As far as I can tell, the only attribute differing between them is who they are. So we'll see if Alfina has an innate. Um, better magic. It is worth noting, though, that Alfina and Donna... It's worth noting that Alfina and Donna are both... could be considered good magic users. Meaning they could both have an innate ability towards magic that Yuki and Ulf do not. Um... If nothing else, that's reflected in their equipment availability, but yeah. Let's see. Let's 
So you cast all heal. Okay. And you cast all heal, and we'll see. Oh my god. Done is all heal. Unpowered, unboosted, 131 magic. Heals about 250. Leave this to me. You? <laughs> about 280 to 300. Hmm. What a peculiar peculiarity. That doesn't sound like there could possibly be any kind of built-in reason that Alfina is has an affinity for that. Huh. This makes me wonder. Does Alfina have an affinity for water in particular? Is he still using the room blade? That would be annoying. Probably. Oh god. Bet you can't tell which one is me. <laughs> Keep an eye on I'm actually just gonna flee from these guys all. <laughs> This warrants further investigation. So I'm going to save. And do some shenanigans. With debug mode. Yeehaw. <coughs> Excuse me. Save first though. I don't want to mess around with this stuff on my own save. Note to self to remember to reconfigure my characters. Um, when we stop messing around with you, bug mode. Okay. Um, here it is. This is the debug mode menu. I have not showed it in video before. Um, besides, in like one thing where I speed run the game using debug mode. Um. You need to have a second controller to mess around with it. I have a whole, like, tutorial for this on the Grandia Wiki, which you can find on some user blog somewhere. Um, let's get into battle. First, we need to set debug mode on. Okay. Here we are. For convenience, what I am going to do is, uh, kill all of these. Except for one of them. Character 4, which is going to be icon A there, um, will survive. The rest of everyone else is dead. Sorry. Watch this. Okay. HP nothing. HP nothing. H. Well, okay, there's nothing else. Defend. There they go. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is, uh, IP stop everyone. Okay, now we've got a frozen battle that we can mess around with. Um, where is the camera controls? Oh, it's because they're in the... that makes sense. There we are. Um. Oh yeah. God, these controls are wild. <coughs> okay, so let's use Donna as our main character since she's vibing. 
Um, what I'm gonna do is change the parameters of these characters. Actually, whatever. Let's just go like this. Um, character four. First things first. I'm actually we're not doing any of. Oh damn! We don't have spells equipped. Lol. Oops. Um, I should have come in here with a plan. For now, let's uh, test heal and I'll heal like we were doing before. First thing I want to do is uh, change damage randomization off here. So now the uh, damage will always be the direct output of whatever is calculated. What is this? Okay. Um. So let's set the parameters for Donna and Alfina. Do you have the exact same amount of magic power? Actually, we already did that, didn't we? Um. One twenty-one. One twenty-one. Okay. In that case, let's just let them both go and see. What I'm gonna do is set their magic power both to uh, one thousand. Um, and we'll see what happens there. Magic power! 1,000! And magic power! 1,000! Now let's let them both move. Well, let's test them both. Oh, heal! Let's see. How much are you healing? Completely Make unboosted. Hear my call for 256. Okay. Intriguing, seeing as magic power 1000 should <laughs> definitely be healing more than 256. Um. Hmm. Alright, let's try 2000. May the fates hear my call for healing! 256, fine then. And zero? Question mark? What'll happen there? May the fates hear my call for healing! 256. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> um, her magic power appears to be doing nothing. How odd. Let's try changing some other variables. Does this mean... Okay, let's let, uh... Let's let Alfina go, then. Does this mean that heal is entirely independent of... Um... Magic power? Because that would be wild. And also, kind of explain why Yuki's healing is crap. Invariably. Even though he has high... There we are. Okay, so you're gonna use all heal. Let's check your stats again. Character Pram, you still have a thousand magic power. Let's check this out. How much Need does your heal do? With no randomization. 296. Invariably. And this is not based on magic power, I take it. Nope. You know what's a higher value? Her magic 
R. Let's try setting this to zero for the heck of it. Now, I'm pretty sure magic R is resilience. Leave this but to let's me. look. 120? Resilience! Boost this. With negative resilience, what happens out of your curiosity's sake? Leave this to me. Damn. Uh. <laughs> Okay. That's an int that's intrig oh, that's cool. Okay. Healing is based on resilience? Damn. Huh. So this is 120. I'm gonna boost your Leave act a bit. Yeah, 120. And uh Boost it by 100 and see how that goes. Leave this to me. 260. So boosting it by 100, boosted it by 140. Uh, so presumably 200 magic R should uh put at 400 damage. If this is a plain old. Leave this to me. Non-exponential silver, whatever the fuck you want to say that sounds smart. Yep. Okay. Huh. So it's a uh, 1.4 times resilience. Um, let's check out heal then. Uh, whoops. Param. With a resilience of zero. This is hundred and sixty. Okay, and I assume this is gonna be the same soap. I call upon the healing power of the stars. Yep. Wait, what? Four sixty? Uh Did I misread that earlier? Leave this to me. No, that's 400 and the heal is 460. I guess that makes sense then. Because, uh... Heal should logically be a more concentrated move. Yeah, 460. Okay, fair enough. Huh. Okay. So... Heal's, uh, math is gonna be, like, what? It starts... The base is still 120, but magic resilience matters more in terms of heal than it does for all heal. Which, I guess, makes sense. Uh, let's check out healer, then. Um, at a base of... Uh, zero heal recovers 120, I believe. Oh, heal restores 160. Fine, they just have different base. So, is that so? Leave this to do me. they have different bases or do they have different? Right, so. 120, 160. Should be 40 more. So 120. Leave this to me. To 260. So it's 1.4 times there. And 160 to. I call upon the healing power of the stars. 310 is 150. 
Um, I need to make a table. Yo, OBS, let's uh, get the full screen going here. Full desktop. Thank you? Question mark? Um, why isn't it displaying? Why is OBS transparent? Wild. Okay, I guess it was just taking a minute to update. Alright, um, let's get this at full screen. And, uh, this here... Um, Vim tilde documents gr3 magic math.txt. Yeah, I have some shenanigans here already. Let's check out magic shenanigans. New document. Wow, that's so cute. It displays like a heart in the bottom. Anyway, um, God, there's so much numbers. Eh. Thank you. Let's see. Kill. Um. MGR. Zero. Alright, let's do. Um. Spell. MGR. Kill. Damn. Um. Zero. Wait a sec. Yes, it is. This is this goes here. Spell. I know how to do tables. Trust me, I do them all the time. Um. Okay. So you're doing heal. I call upon the healing power of the stars. Result. Oops. Your magic. Call upon the healing power of the stars. 160. Let's try a hundred magic resilience. Uh, I call upon the healing power of the stars. We're looking at three hundred and ten. The base, of course, is here. One hundred, so it's gonna be. 310 minus 160 equals, um, like 150, I believe. Yeah, I can do math. Give me a break. And 150 over 100 equals 1.5. The healing power of the stars. There. Oops, I forgot to push this. That makes sense. I call upon the healing power of the stars. 460. Which uh, again, 1.5 times 200. So the the difference here is now 460 minus 160 is 300. 300 divided by 200 is 1.5. Alright, let's try all heal. I believe we've already tested this to be, uh... Half a 
base of 120, but let's double check. Leave this to me. Base 120. Excuse me. 100. Leave this to me. 260. Alright, so the difference here is 140, which is an implication of 1.4x. Leave this to me. 400. And, uh, let's see. The difference here is 280. Which, again, 1.4x. Looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, heal is uh, 1.5x, while all heal is 1.4x. Heal also has a stronger base. And we've confirmed that heal does not get affected by magic power at all. Um, let's check out healer, since I wanted to try that. Um, healer. Healer has a power of, has a power of three. You see those three stars there in description? Um, so I'm wondering if that's going to be of significance in terms of its, uh, base and multiplier. But I'm pretty sure the base and multiplier are fundamentally just tied to the identity of the spell. And the power only hints at what that is going to be like. Okay, so healer with a. Whoops, I have to. I'm just going to wait I for this to go. I call upon the healing power of the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on 920. Whatever. Give me a sec. Okay, healer. Um, with zero magic resilience is going to be. 320 And uh I call upon the healing power of the stars. With that, it will be 620. Okay, so check this out. 3.0x. Neat. And uh healer with the base of 200 will presumably also fit this pattern. Yeah, it was 920. I call and upon that's the healing 3 times power 2 is 600. Looks good. Okay. Now, all healer would probably be something like 2.8x or something like that, but we don't have it on hand, so we can't test it. So this is cool. Uh, we've deduced that healing is based on this. The other things I wanted to test are a bit more complicated. Did we make it? Because the other things, um, are based on like different interactions and stuff. What we're gonna do is stats can all be changed elsewhere, but like through battle, but equipment cannot be. So we're going to mess around with that out here, and conveniently, um, what is it? There's a, excuse me, is field on, field debug on? Okay, thank you, um, thank you. There we go. You get out of here. I'm going to access this. So this is the, uh, handy menu. Don't press some of these, they screw with things. But, uh. Yeah. This defaults to a different place. Disregarding all that stuff, what you want to do is set up magic. Um, 
let's remove your, um, oops, let's remove everyone's mana eggs, thank you, and, uh, skills are already reset, um, what I want to test here is digging. Um, which is Yuki and Elf's shenanigans. Um, let's see. I kind of want to change the uh, party to uh, have a different group. Where is it? There we are. Group four. That'll be just Yuki and Elfina in battles now, I believe. With luck, anyway. Um, which obviously means that we need to set up Yuki, uh, Elfina to have that. Oops, we put it on Elf. Oh well. Damn. Actually, Yuki Alpha is a perfectly fine group. This will work. Um, and otherwise, everyone's cool, so let's get back into fight. Is there a fight that doesn't contain quite so- Oh god, I pressed I. That, uh, that makes you fly. Do you have less enemies? Please have less enemies. Gosh darn it. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Param! Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, basically I'm gonna be uh, screwing around with these guys. Attacks! First we need the basic damage formula though. And uh, oops, I need to be screwing with this one. Um, I want to be looking at the damage formula of enemies on players. So basically how much damage does an enemy do, because I want to be looking at the effectiveness of Diggin, and to do that we need to know how damage works in the first place. Actually, yeah, I think it'll still help to have that in mind. So let's set your attack to 100, and let's set Yuki's defense to 0. And, uh, do the same with... Well, just as well, making sure that no death is set. Um... Yeah, let's try this. Um... Let's see what happens. 142 damage looks particularly random. Nope, it's not random. Wild, okay. Is that just the amount of damage it deals? That's fair. Um, yeah, let's watch a few more attacks. A hundred and forty. My headphones are being a pain. A hundred and sixty-three. What's going on here? Oh, I forgot to disable damage randomization. It defaults to on, that makes more sense. Okay, 153 against Ulf. Stop using your magic. What is your magic again? 153. Looks good. You stop that. I don't think they have any special moves to begin with. But we'll kill that as well. 153. Okay. So these guys do 153 damage with their normal attack. Normal attack. Uh, 
what are these things called anyway? Sand lizard. Okay. Did I just fuck with the IP stop things wrong? No. Okay. Uh, let's mess around with parameters some more. Yuki, you're going to have a hundred defense now. And you should still have a hundred attack. Um, so let's let the enemy attack. Probably too far. Yeah. Thirty-eight. Oh, but you're defending. I see. That uh, could be problematic. You're not supposed to defend. You're supposed to not defend. You're supposed to just be chilling. Which you can do, like so. There. Now he's just chilling. Please target Yuki. Thank you. 78. Let's just confirm that's, uh... Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Fantastic. Um, let's try, I don't know, the 100 attack, 100. Um, let's just check one more thing. Um, def 0, ATK 0. Because if there's a base amount of, uh, damage that this move does, we'll see it like that. So, Param, Yuki, defense 0. And, uh, check your to zero. And we'll see. Oops. Eighteen. Okay. Why eighteen? Nobody knows. Whoops, wrong window focused. In place. Why eighteen? Um. Let's zero other stats one by one and see which ones change. Defense zero. I can't imagine, but uh, let's see. Your normal attack. Still 18. No magic power. Still 18. Uh, resilience. Still 18. Well, I'm not going to disable its act. Or its move. <laughs> But let's try, uh, just tweaking those. Yep. Bro. This didn't affect other things, so it shouldn't affect this. But I don't know. Okay, fine. 
That's cool with me. Looks like this stuff is, uh... Not gonna affect any of that. Um, let's check... Their, uh... Level for the hell of it. A level zero sand lizard. How much damage are you gonna do? 18. Okay. So their base attack just seems to be 18, arbitrarily. Um, I can't think of any other values here that would affect that, so I think that's just how it is. What are you doing? Bro! <laughs> Okay. Cool enough. 18 damage, fine. We've got clear enough stats then. Um, let's try some in between stats. Def 0, ATK 200. Oh god. 288. Or 23. Note that Elf just got revived. We've got a clear pattern here anyway, but let's check. Bro, don't escape, bro. Stop trying to do that. Does it just be regenerated quicker when it deals more damage? Okay, obvious pattern exists here. I just don't know what it is because I am bad at math. <laughs> Node! Node! Calculator, come back! Also, you stop moving. Can't these things actually escape? I don't think so. Okay. Um, 288 minus 18 is 270 over 200 is... 0.35. Uh, 558 400 1.35 Alright, malt 18 plus 1.35 times ATK Now how about defense? Um Let's leave its attack at 400. Uh, actually, let's... Yeah, I wanna... Okay, let's just do 0 ATK 1000. For the sake of... Um, having big numbers. This should, uh, just for the sake of testing this, be... 18 plus 1.35 times 1000 is 1368 damage. Let's test that. Whoa, printer's going. Yep, thirteen sixty eight. Good stuff. Um Let's check out Yuki's defense. Don't do it, bro. At defense, a hundred. Attack, a thousand. Gosh darn it, don't attack, Golf. Go get Yuki. No, stop attacking, Golf. Attack Yuki. Jeez, okay then. Also, dear god, I'm just going to set its, uh... <laughs> since it really doesn't know how to escape, I'm just going to set its max SP to zero! Go away. Stop trying to do that. Okay, you can. 1293. Def 200. Twelve eighteen. Why 
What are you doing? Why are you trying to escape? Don't you not have the SP for that, or do you just do that every second turn, or what? Go get you. Eleven forty three. Um, I swear, what is your problem? Okay, fine, you just escape, bro. Whatever. You just have, like, I don't know, one in three chances of using it or something. Ten sixty-eight. And at 500... Defense? We've got... Thank you. Attack you, go, do it. 993. Okay, and a thousand. Go on. Target Yuki. Come on. Get him. Thank you. Six eighteen. Okay. Um, let's see. Six eighteen minus eighteen is six hundred. Um, meaning I think it's 0.95. We can change the base amount, which makes this a little bit more complicated, and I am not a qualified mathematician enough to, uh, do any of this <laughs> basic arithmetic, algebra, whatever. Um, but presumably it's going to be minus... C times defense. Um, so 16 equals 18 plus 1.35 times uh, 1,000 minus C times 1,000. If I've got this basically logic out, um, 1.35 times 1,000 is just going to be 1350. Um, 600 equals 1.5 times 1,000, I see times 1,000. Simplifying this, 1 over 3 times 1,000 is... Uh, we've got 650 equals C times 1,000, and 60 over 1,000 is 0.65. So the defense constant appears to be 0.65. This follows that... Six five times we've currently got plus two thousand should leave it doing eighteen damage. If I've got this right, no, I don't got it right.
Damn. Okay. 2 plus 6 times 10 is 2,000, uh, 18 plus 13, 50. Should be dealing 68 damage. Why is me dealing 68 damage? Let's try 1500. Two forty three equals eighteen plus one point three five times a thousand minus three times fifteen hundred. Three minus eighteen two twenty five equals one hundred and ten thousand minus three times fifteen hundred. Two twenty five minus this one twenty five equals three times fifteen hundred. Just point seven five. Oh dear. Um, did I get some math wrong up here or something? Oh god. Because the constant appears to be point seven five, which would account for dealing zero damage. Six eighteen six hundred. 1.35 times a thousand. 600 minus this. Uh, yeah, why did I do that wrong? 750. Constant is 0.75. Alright. So let's just check, um, as a proof of this. Um, the constant is 1.35 times attack. So let's say the attack is going to be 3,000. Gosh darn it. And the defense is 0.75 times 2,000. Also, give me a break. Uh. So with 3,000 attack and 2,000 defense. Expect the enemy to do a load of damage. That much damage specifically. 2568. Yeah, not on you. Give me a break. Go target. Don't do that. Are you here? Eighteen, eighteen. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Yuki, did I set your defense wrong? Yes, I did. Oops. Yeah, I should probably be smart when I'm doing this mathematics. Three thousand, two thousand, twenty-five, sixty. Good stuff. Okay. Cool. Alright, looks good. Let's learn what the fuck Diggin does. Now, the thing about these, uh... Let's see. 
Alright, you get out of here. You can do some cool stuff. Diggin! Are you gonna change anything here with Diggin? This should protect you! Let's see. No. Damn. Is Dagan not visible here? Can we not see status effects? That's annoying. Oh well. Let's try seeing how this uh, map shifts. Alright. Eighteen plus one point. All right, so I want to say using this as our def two thousand HD three thousand demo, which got us twenty five sixty eight. Def fifteen. Let's try that. Def 2000 attack. 2000. Thank you. Hi. Hell yeah, I'm doing math. You can get yourself a toast. You've done it yesterday. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> um, alright, let's get Monster Packer to go. Not him. Oh, damn. It faded away. Okay, let's let you target Yuki. Target Yuki, please. What are you doing? You're doing that. Why are you not in the camera? Um, why do you keep targeting Ulf? Okay, fine. Well, it's completely infatuated with Alf, so this is fine. Let's let you use Diggin. Let's set the parameters on Alf to match that. Two thousand defense. And uh You cast Diggin, you. and you start moving and attack Alf. Zero. Okay. Um. Most intriguing. Damn. All right. Um. Really? Hold on. You're saying the two thousand defense. Against why did your attack get reset? Excuse me? Why did your attack get reset, bro? Thank you. Let's uh let's do that again. Oh shit. It's not moving. Alright. 3,946. Put 
the fuck? What are our stats? What's going on here? Yuki, why did your stats get reset? Why did everyone's stats get reset? I am so confusion. Like, what's going on here? Whatever. DF 2000. Attack 3000. Plus Diggin. Yuki's Diggin is gone. Damn. Okay. We know how this goes. You keep moving till you choose your target. You're probably just gonna escape because that's how you are. Go away, headphones. Stop being a pain. Dear God. Okay. Well, you're after you, though. That's not very helpful. More. You're targeting Yuki, I assume. Since you're facing him. Correct. No, damn it. I assume it never escapes twice in a row. So, anyway, let's uh, let Yuki go. Look about sitting in uh post act for a while. Dig in. This should protect you. Okay. Now you go unpaused. Nineteen. Okay. Thank you. That's a solid number I can use. Who are you targeting? It looks like it's targeting. Um. Let's try, uh. We don't have baselines, but. Why does digging last so short? I bet that's the main thing that gets changed by having a boosted. Whatever. Uh Okay. The difference here... 25, 16, minus 20, 68. So that's a difference of 600. Um... It would be great if digging lasted longer. <laughs> <sighs> Def a thousand, ATK three thousand. Um, let's try this. We're gonna do this with no digging. Also, let's just uh, kill Ulf because yeah. Um, I think I have to restart this fight. Because I'm pretty sure if I try to kill Elf, he'll just die right now. He'll just get revived. It's getting so dark. Oh really? He actually says dead. Fair enough. Okay. Sorry, Elf. <laughs> yeah, he still stays dead. Cool enough. Let's try getting this uh HD camera. I don't actually know how to use these camera things. I am getting distracted intentionally. Thank you. That's what I'm going for. Um. Alright. Yuki, you need defense 1000. Attack 3000. Yeah, so you should still be 3000. Thank you. And let's. Let this go. Okay. 
Plus Diggin. Jeez Louise. You need better act. Gamma. This should protect you. Oh gosh darn it. Thirty eighteen. Okay. Now zero. Um, no digging is going to probably mean. My bet is that zero defense means the digging isn't going to. Digging is probably a multiplier and therefore isn't going to have an impact at all. Um, let's see. Like, it'll change the constant C here from 0.75 to something else. And we'll do the math as to what that other constant is in just a moment, but I want to check this first. Okay, Yuki, your defense is zero. Go ahead, enemy. 4068. Hold on. It's not doing anything. It's not targeting anyone. You go do your stupid thing. Escape. Yeah, you. Good luck with that. Howdy. Uh, not particularly. Sup? Damn. That sucks. Um. <laughs> look at this table I'm building. Oh yeah, go ahead. Are you going to cut these parts out? No. Ah! I have no plans to. Because I don't have any video editing stuff. Um dig in. Okay. This should protect you. Uh, I would recommend look at the series. Okay, enemy, you attack. This thing is doing 4068. See ya. Okay, good. So it looks like that just changed the multiplier. Let's go check out what that multiplier is by doing some math. Um, let's yank this over here. So, we already got that, um... 1968 equals 18 plus 1.25 times attack, minus C times defense. Um, well, defense is 2,000, attack is 3,000... 1950 equals 1.25 times 2,000 minus C times 2,000... 1950... Minus 100 times 3,000 is negative 2,100. So 2,100 equals C times 2,000. 2,100 over 2,000 is 1.05. Okay, cool. All right, so the constant is 1.05. Sounds good. Now we can leave the battle because this is where finally gets to what I've been looking to figure out all this time. The question being... Actually, uh, let's do two things. Before we leave the battle right away, let's, uh, check out some quick stuff. First off, with magic power reduced to zero. Does Diggin have the same situation? Um, so we're gonna cast Diggin. 
it should still deal 1968 damage. Don't do that. You attack you. Thank you. So let's see. Wow. Damn it. Wait a sec. Yuki's fucking. Damn it. Okay. God. You need your defense back up to 2000. You. Are chilling as is. You need to get close to there. Thank you. Let's dig in. This should protect you. Now let's see. This should be all 1968. Hell yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Yuki's. Uh, intriguing. Wait a second. Yuki, try that once more. What's going on here? This should protect you. Nice. Defense up. How long is it lasting? I'm so confused. I'm not sure. Um. Okay. Wild. Um. You go this ahead. You. Okay. Digging up. Freeze. You go attack. God damn. I swear these things are trying to keep pain on purpose. Attack you. Wall is defense tier, please. Thank you. 1968. And it disappears right away. Okay. Let's see if that was the same thing before, because I didn't recognize that earlier. I know it's not particularly what we're testing right now, but I want to check anyway. This should protect you. Okay, it does still subtract his defense right away. Okay, fair enough. Digging appears to be and be Digin appears to be based on. As well as a time. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah. So NGP changes nothing. Let's check if uh NGR does. Oh my god, do your thing. Okay, we got zero. We got zero magic resistance now, or resilience. 1968. Okay, sounds good. Dig in effect is not based on GP or MGR. Let's check out. Um, Let's get out of here, and check out if it has to do with mana egg efficiency. They'll never catch us now! We 
don't have an earth egg. Oh god. Where's the strong earth egg? Thank you, gravity egg. Let's try that. Okay, your attack is going to be 3,000, as usual. Your defense... is going to be... 2,000. Jeez, what is with this camera right now? I guess that's just the normal, natural camera position. Okay. Um, let's just confirm this is working. It should get 2568 damage. Or it should use the... Ah, god damn it. No. Dark. Wait. Not only was that not the right damage. Oh, well, okay, fine. It wasn't the right damage because damage randomization was still on. Ugh. Okay, fine, jeez. I know I'm well over my 2-hour count. Off, no death on character params. You die. My apologies. That's a lot of health. You too. You too. You as well. And you. Uh, what the fuck? Oh. And... How could this happen? Yes. Wow. Okay. Characters, Pram, Yuki, and Batty needs to have... 3,000 attack. And no magic. You need to have like <laughs> two thousand events. Now, Yuki, you have tier fucking two. That works for me. Whatever, as y'all. Um. This should protect you. Okay, let's let uh, this baddie go. Nineteen sixty-eight plus dig in two, and it still disappeared right away. Conclusion: Dig in is. Not affected by MGP 
NGR or uh, boost. An egg. Anyone's digging is as good as anyone else's. It follows that well, it probably follows that other status boosting moves like WoW um, are the same. So, in other words, it affects only the speed at which the move is cast i.e. how long it takes to get from con to act. Boost appears to only affect duration from con to act. Okay. That is good science. Okay. Get out of here. Scram. the file. They'll never catch us now. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to these things, mana eggs don't matter that much. Mana eggs affect the speed these things are cast, but not anything else. Meaning, um, when it comes to Donna and Co, we may as well put on the uh, uh, mana egg that will affect particularly the spells that we want to be using. Water is probably good. I don't think we strictly tested this. Oh yeah, we also confirmed also um, heal ETC are affected not by MGP but by MGR which is resilience. I believe. Um, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious, because it means that the uh, armor affects um, the quality of that. Madge is just for offense. And offense is not something we use in this game. So, Mytho Sword it is. <laughs> Wild. Uh, one thing I wanted to check. Guru's Way boosts magic and resilience. Guru's Way is useful because it boosts MGR, but otherwise... But otherwise... But otherwise, it's up to armor, not weapon, to determine the power of healing spells. Cool. Alright. Interesting. Well, that was some good science. <laughs> Glad to get all this stuff checked. Um, neat. Formulas in conclusion. <laughs> Heal equals um, 
160 plus 1.5 times MGR. All heal equals. Um. All heal equals 120 plus. Uh, 1.4 times MGR. Healer equals. 320 plus 3.0 times MGR. Um. And. Normal attack. Sand. Lizard. Equals. 18 plus 1.35 times 1000. Minus. C times a thousand. Um, where C equals two physics life without digging, or C equals and C equals zero point it's one point oh five with. I haven't tested other enemy attacks, so I can't say about for those. So we can't be sure about those formulas. It's cool. It's prob. The general formula probably looks something like base plus 105 times ATK minus. Uh, what am I doing here? Why is this? Looks good. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop here. We will screw around with the equipment next time. Sounds good.